Before you create an item, you might want to do a little bit of research first. For example, you might want to look up the item in the eBay catalog or the Amazon catalog. A lot of items already exist in the eBay and Amazon catalogs, so by choosing them from the catalog, you can fill in a lot of information uh, very quickly. Another thing you might want to do is you might want to look up the item and see how it's selling on other sites. For example, you might want to check out the prices it's getting on Walmart or see how people are listing it on eBay. The research tool in 6-bit allows you to do all of this. So let's start by going up and adding a new item. And we'll look at the product title. The product title field is where you put the title of your item, but it can also serve as a search field. So for example, let's say I wanted to look up Lord of the Rings Two Towers. I could go over here to the search button and perform a search. Our item research tool will come up and the first thing I want to show you is that it provides listings from the eBay catalog and from the Amazon catalog. So all I would need to do is to go to the eBay catalog and the eBay catalog is further broken down by categories. So I was looking for a DVD in particular. I could choose DVDs and then select the particular version of the item that I'm selling. Likewise, I would go to the Amazon catalog and do the same. Choose the particular item from the Amazon catalog that I'm selling. And then when I click OK, you'll see that it fills in the picture, it fills in the item specifics for eBay, and on Amazon it's filled in the ASIN and the features of that item. Now let me show you another example. So we're going to save and exit this item and create a new one. And this time we're going to search for Beginnings Toy Chest Soft White. Now the thing you'll notice here is that this did not show up in the eBay catalog. Let's look in the Amazon catalog. It is in the Amazon catalog. So to choose this from the Amazon catalog, I could select here. But let's go on and look at what else we have. The Google search tab will show us a search for this particular product title on Google. So you can look through the search results, click on any of these links, just like you would any other Google search, to find out what you need to about this item. You can also do an Amazon search, which will search Amazon and look for any listings there. You can see it's listed here in Amazon. And then finally, you could do an eBay search. Although it wasn't found in the eBay catalog, it is still listed on eBay and you can find other listings. Now let's see what we can do with this. Since it didn't appear in the eBay catalog, we're going to want to create an eBay description for it. We can do that by going to the Amazon search results, finding the product description, copying that, exiting the item research window, and then going back and pasting this into the description. We can use this as a starting point for our eBay description. You might want to change it a little bit to make it different than what's on Amazon. Um, also, let's say we go back into the search window and then we'll want to make sure we choose it from the Amazon catalog and click OK. We'll see it kept our eBay description, but now on the Amazon tab it also has the ASIN and the features. Let's do another example. I'm going to create another new item. And the product title search doesn't actually have to be keywords. It can also be something like a UPC. So I'm going to paste the UPC in here and watch what happens when I perform a search now. Now in this case, you'll notice that it didn't load the research window. Um, but it did fill in the pictures and the ASIN and the eBay item specifics. So the reason it did this is because when we searched on that one particular um, UPC, it found only one result in the eBay catalog and the Amazon catalog. So rather than open up the window making you choose it when there's only one option, it just chose it for you. Now if you did want to actually uh, open it up and search for it on other sites, you could have done a search with preview and that would have forced the item research window open.
Now, what if we wanted to search on a site that wasn't built into the 6-bit research tool? We can do that by performing a search. We're going to go back and search for our toy chest. And then we're going to add a search from the Add Search button. Now, the first thing it's going to ask for is the tab header. And let's say we want to search for this on Walmart. We're going to call this our Walmart search. And that's what will appear in the tab at the top. Now, to get the search URL, the first thing we're going to do is we have to open up a browser. And we have to go out to Walmart and perform our search on Walmart. And what we're really looking to get is the URL of this search. So we're going to copy the URL from our results from Walmart. I can close the browser down now. And then we're going to paste that URL back in here into our Add Custom Item search window. Now, if this is the search we used every time, it's going to query the same beginnings toy chest. So we want to fill in a variable that's going to use our different keywords each time. And so to do that, we're just going to put in a replacement variable of keywords. So each time it does the search, it's going to replace whatever keywords we used into this part of the URL, and it will end up performing the search on the site. So now when I click OK, we have a Walmart search tab. If I click Walmart search, it'll go off and do the search on our keywords. Now, if I want to remove a search at any time, I can just use the X up here in the corner to go ahead and delete the search. I think you can find that this could be very handy. A couple of the other things I thought it might be useful for is if you wanted to search just eBay auctions, you could go out to the eBay site, perform your search on just auctions and use the URL from that to do an auction search. Or Google has a shopping site, you could go out there and get the URL for the Google Shopping, add your own tab there. Pretty much any other site that has a search capability, you can build into 6-bit into the item research tool. And finally, any searches you perform at the product title also work next to the UPC or product ID and next to the ASIN selector.